Hello everybody, welcome to the video, my name is Crypt, and in this video I am introducing to you guys Overtuned 1.5, okay? So now as you guys can see right now on the screen, you have Overtuned 1.5 in the bottom left of the screen, okay? And the top right of the screen, you have Overtuned's Detect Show Output option, okay? Which allows you to basically see the output of what Overtune is detecting, okay? So now before we actually continue, let me just real quick talk to you guys about what Overtuned is. And most likely just by seeing these first five seconds you're able to know what it is but anyways so overtuned is a color bot application a color bot is designed to specifically target the enemy outline so as you guys can see on the screen right now i'm in overwatch and currently this training bot has a magenta color outline okay which means that it has like a little purplish color outline and that's what overtune is targeting okay overtune is basically using a external method to capture the screen detect the color outline and that's what we're detecting right now it creates a little outline around the enemy and then if we begin shooting right now it's gonna stay on the enemy okay just like so move towards the enemy okay just like so and move towards the head all right just like so okay so these are overturn works okay overturn can be using overwatch and paladins and it's specifically designed for overwatch but you can also use in other games too okay anyways so i prefer to show you guys this as I'm playing, so it's much easier. Anyway, so over there on the aim assist page, okay, as you guys can see right now, it is currently enabled and it says enabled and on the right side, it says toggle, okay, which means that if I press X right now, it turns off, the show output screen froze and it says the enabled little checkbox is now, it's not marked anymore, okay, if I press X again, it's going to enable and the show out output screen is going to be back how it was before, just like so, okay, cool. You also have priority. Now, for now, don't play your priority. Okay, priority is not gonna do anything at the moment. Okay, um, you have aim, which basically defines where the application is gonna be mostly aiming for, either the head or the chest. Now, this does not mean that you're only gonna do headshots. That does not mean that. It basically just means that the application is gonna mostly target that place, but the application has a lot of randomization, which means that it's gonna randomize where it's gonna aim, so that it's not only headshots. Okay. Um, you also have mouse speed. Let's talk about mouse speed for a little bit. So I have just lowered the mouse speed. As you guys can see right now, the mouse speed is at two, which means that it's gonna be a little slower to move towards the target. Okay, just like so. It's quite safe right now. Okay, just like so. Okay, I recommend that you use values such as two or one as you're testing out the application. Okay, and then as you get comfortable with the application, you can use you can use higher values. Okay, so right now I'm using mouse speed two, and that's what it looks like. Okay, all you have to do is just move the little slider, the mouse speed slider downwards or to the left okay and then click save and that's about it and then, and then you can just use the application make sure you enable it and then use the application okay just like so now for those of you that prefer a hold option so at the top it says toggle right for each turn on the application all i have to do is press x once and that's it right for those of you that want to hold the button okay it's very simple so while basically i change it to hold as you guys can see over there on the bottom left and then while i'm holding x the application is working okay just like so and then as soon as I let go of X, it stops working. So right now, I'm not holding X anymore. If I try, you know, shooting this guy, there's no aim assist. As you guys can see, there was no aim assist there. No aim assist whatsoever, okay? If I hold X right now, it's going to be aim assist. It moves towards the target, okay? Just like so, all right? Now let's talk about trigger bot. Trigger bot is something that definitely many of you are going to want to utilize, and let's talk about it. So the best way to show what a trigger bot is, is me changing to Widowmaker. Now I currently have Widowmaker, okay? And the trigger bot key, I selected J, so that's a J. It's hard to see, but I put J there and then I hit save, okay? And then I changed the trigger bot delay from 100 to 546, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, of course, aim with the sniper, right? And then I'm going to press J. So as long as that character is on my screen, okay, it's going to shoot. So for example, right now again, I'm, as soon as I press J, okay, it shoots at the target because it is on my screen, okay? Now keep in mind that the trigger bot it's still on some testing, so I'm still testing it a little bit. I'm still moving. I'm still playing around with the filters. So that means that sometimes it could give you, you know, it could not be perfect, but it's still going to work most of the time, okay? But sometimes it does, like you guys saw, like the target was already dead and kept shooting. Sometimes it does do that, so just keep that in mind, okay? Now for this next portion of the video, we're going to talk about the detect settings. So over there, you have the detect settings over there, okay? You have a show output option over there, okay, which I was using which allows you to see the output of what the application is detecting. This is very good because basically you can see at any time if the application is bugging out, if there's anything wrong, you're going to see it, okay? Now, color is very important. So let's talk about color. So let's say 
currently the application is gonna already have the settings off, off already set up for you for Overwatch Magenta. But you, let's say you don't you don't want to use the Magenta color blind mode, or let's say you don't like the Magenta color around the enemies. You want to use another color. If that's the case, you need to also make sure that you change the color that the application is currently detecting. Okay. So go to the detect page right here by clicking over here on the top. Okay. So you're gonna be on the aim assist. Go to detect. Click on over here on color. Click pick color. Okay. And as you can see over here, you can click on select an image. So click an image right here. So as you guys can see right now, I have my folder open right here, okay? So over here, I have an Overwatch image. is in JPEG format, and it should be JPEG, okay? Just like so, JPG, okay? And then I'm going to click on this this little image right here. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to click open, okay, right here. And it's going to open this image inside of Color Picker, okay? Now, you can play around with these values, just like so, so that only the, the outline of the enemy is showing. So as you see, that enemy has a purple outline, right? Now, this is not a very good image. It's not a very good quality image, but you, you should definitely get a higher quality image than this. But anyways, I'm going to show you how it works. So what you want is you want only the outline of the enemy to be showing up. Okay. So let's see if I can get to that. Actually, it's pretty good already. Let's see here. That's good, but you want most of the outline. So let's see if we can get even better than this. That's that's pretty good, right? It's fine if there's a little cut in the outline. It's fine. That's pretty good. You want to click save. Okay. Just like so. Now you can just close this out. Okay. And now we're using that those colors. Now the application is going to be targeting those colors. Okay. Cool. Over here, you can change the monitor in which the application is going to be targeting. So over here, currently it's targeting my monitor one. My monitor one is my main monitor. My monitor two is my second monitor, of course. So on the settings page over here, we have several options. The first option is detection responsiveness. Currently, it is set to ultra, which means that the application is going to be running very, very quickly to try to detect those enemies. Okay. If you don't have such a strong computer, you can change it to low or medium or, or medium or low, okay? But at ultra, it should not be impacting your resources that much. So this is only going to be a problem for you if you have a really low-end computer, okay? Mouse movement, okay? Don't worry about mouse movement for now, okay? Game overlay, don't worry about that for now either, okay? Interception driver, these needs to be checked, okay? So once you download, there's a probability that this is not checked. Interception driver is not checked. If it is not checked, your application is not going to work. Simple as that, okay? At the moment, the only way you can move your mouse is using this interception driver. It doesn't matter the game. Now, how can we get this? It's very easy, so don't worry. I'm going to show you how to get that right now. Actually, your application already comes with this, but I'm going to show you anyways. So in the first part of this video, you, you saw how Overtune works, okay? In game, you saw how the detect page works, the settings page works. Okay, now on the second part, I'm going to show you how to actually executor now overtune is not just about executing now if you actually just try to execute overtune right now it's gonna work there's gonna be no problem okay it's gonna work just fine but the first thing you need to do is you need to actually download you need to actually install the dll's okay so over here you have several different things you have a bin folder you have a read more settings and the actual application right here okay so go to the bin folder go to the dll folder and then over here, you have three different DLLs. Very good. Okay. Make sure that's there. Okay. It should be there for you already. And over here, you also have a folder called interception. Okay. So what you're going to do to make it easy on yourself, what you're going to do is you're going to move this folder to your desktop. Now, as you can see, this folder is in my desktop right here. Okay. Now, very good. Now, let's open this folder. Once you open this folder, you have all these little different folders right here. The folder you're gonna wanna open is command line installer. And over here, you have this install interception, okay? Now, again, just to clarify, interception is what we're gonna be using to move the mouse and the keyboard in game, okay? It's basically a driver, okay? It's gonna make it so that when you move the mouse and keyboard, okay, you don't get banned, okay? Cool. Now, to install interception, okay? We're not gonna execute this. Don't click this twice. It's not gonna work, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here on the search and then type CMD. Now, before actually pressing enter, you're going to right click on command prompt. Okay. You're going to run as administrator. Now, what I'm going to do right now, is very simple. You're going to click right here on this empty space. Okay. And then you're going to copy the link. Okay. Now I'm going to type CD and I'm going to press control V. That's what your, that's what your CMD should look like. Okay. It should say windows system 32, which means that you have the administrator command prompt. Okay. It should say CD users, whatever the name of your user is. And then it should say like OneDrive, or it should just say desktop, okay? Interception, command line installer, just like so. Press enter. It should work, okay? If the enter didn't work, then you need to actually understand, you need to actually go and learn 
how to change directories. Okay, you need to change to this correct directory. Anyway, so after you have done the change directory, the CD, okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in to install. You're gonna type ins or install and then press tab, just like so. And then you're gonna do slash install. Okay, so it should say install interception.exe slash install, just like so. You're gonna press enter. In my case, there's an error. It says could not write to system 32 drivers. That means that I already have installed, okay? So if that's the case, you're good to go. You can just open um, Overturn. Now, in your case, okay, if this is your first time installing it, it should say installation complete or something like that. And then you should say reboot, okay? So you're going to go ahead and restart your computer, okay? After you restart your computer, you're good to go and you can open Overturn. So I already restarted my computer and now I can just open Overturn. So just double click on it. Overturn takes a little bit of time to open due to the obfuscation. So just keep that in mind. And there you go. This is Overturn, okay? Now to the most important part, which is downloading. So to download the application is very simple. You're going to go to my webpage, okay? So cryptap.com, okay? And over here you have the home screen. You're going to click on free apps right here. Now to get to the free apps page, you need to log in. So you're going to log in with Google, Facebook, or you can just log in with email. Now in my case, I logged in. As soon as you finish logging, you're going to immediately come to this page right here which you can download several different applications, including Elucidity, okay, which is a recoil application. You have simple recoil, and over here in the middle, you have Overturn, okay? So Overturn over here, current version 1.5, it was recently updated, as you guys can see, and then you can click download right here. You can also watch the tutorial video. Currently, of course, I'm making a tutorial video, so it's not available, but it's gonna be available soon, okay? So you can click on download right here, and then it's gonna start downloading the zip folder right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to extract the zip folder. So you just click extract all. And that's it. Once you're inside of the Overturn 1.5 folder, you have the application and everything ready right here. And you can just open it. Just like so. And then wait a little bit of time. If you get this problem which says Windows protected your computer. Okay, run anyway. Windows may say this, but it's because there's an unknown publisher. Okay, just run anyway. And then you're going to wait a little bit of time, around 3 seconds. For the application to open and then there you go the application is now open thank you for watching this video and don't forget to give me some feedback on the application